You've spoken also about the need to hit the ground running, about making the right decisions with that sense of urgency because we are at quite an advanced stage in this season, obviously you're almost at the midway stage. To what extent do you feel you've made decisions on the squad and, and players? Because obviously players are scheduled to be out of contracts. We've got a transfer window less than a month away. How's, how's that all shaped up so far? Yeah, well, we've you know uh, have spoke to one or two players that we you know we will uh, will probably leave the club, um, but you know, the majority of players have been given an opportunity to come and express themselves and show me what we can do. I said at the start that you know I want to see players and see can we get more out of some players that maybe haven't we haven't got as much out over the last number of months. So that's important that that happens over the next few weeks. And that's like everybody; they're all playing for the future. We're all playing for a future, so. You know, between now and obviously January and the end of the season, like you say, we have a lot of players that are contracted. It's up to them to, to, to prove the point that they want to be at a big club like this. Um, they want to stay in the facilities that we've got here. They've got to work hard to do that and, and, and prove the point that they want to be here as players and staff. You mentioned obviously there may be some players heading for the exit door. Will that coincide perhaps with some arrivals if you've got players perhaps in mind already with regards to strengthening the squad in the new year? Um, we we looked at areas rather than players. We've identified a couple of areas maybe we're a little bit short. Um, you know, so that's something we're looking at. Um, obviously, we've got to work around the budget as well, so we'll take that into consideration. Um, we can't do anything really at the moment in relation to bringing players in. So again, we assess the situation, see where we are come later on in this month, and then if we feel we, we need to do something, we will do it. Um, but I'm hoping that we can get some more out of some of the players out here. Um, but it's like everything, there will be, there will be probably t- uh, comings and goings, I would think, over January, but I don't think it'll be a huge amount. Obviously, in terms of home debuts in the Scottish Premier League, they probably don't get any bigger than playing against the Champions Rangers <coughs> at home at Easter Road. How excited are you about that? I think we're looking forward to it. Uh, like you said, the early champions have been for a few years, so um, they're a formidable side, you know, some very, very good players. But it's a great game for us to get into the first game you know home the Rangers you couldn't ask for any more and I'm sure our supporters so I'm hoping we had a massive crowd where was in Motherwell on Friday I'm hoping that they turn out in bigger numbers as well and get behind the team and, and make you know I know Easter Road over the years was a hard place for, for the big teams to come and we've got to get back to that we've got to get that atmosphere where it's a little bit hostile for teams coming to visit us See this evening you're scheduled to meet up with some of the supporters at this uh, calendar signing uh, session. How important is that for you as well? Because I know you've been, you've had your head buried in your work, haven't you? Really over here in East Lothian to get over to the stadium and, and just start meeting the supporters. Really, yeah, it's important. Obviously, uh, supporters. You know, I don't know too many people around the place. So I've been trying to get to meet everybody. Got another couple of meetings today before we get over. So it's important that I sit down and we can get a general chat with people and also to to meet the supporters and maybe hear some of the things they have to say. And um, you know, so that that is important that we get over there today. Yeah.